Hi guys, thanks for watching Food with Len. I know I haven't made a whole lot of videos lately, but uh, I was on a smaller boat and I just got this bigger boat and it actually has a pretty decent sized galley on it, so uh, I hope to be putting out a whole lot more stuff here in the next few days. I went grocery shopping, got a lot of stuff, and I've got a few plans for a lot of videos. But what I'm going to start with tonight is my version of Crock-Pot Chili. And it's a really simple, easy to make version, not too spicy, not too crazy or anything like that. And I think you're going to love it. So let's get started. Okay, my version of homemade chili is really simple. All you need really is some hamburger, about a pound. Uh, I'm using one or two onions. Uh, I'll decide when I cut them up and see how they fill out the board. I've got one jalapeno pepper here, which I'm going to seed, get all the seeds out of. Uh, I've got some chili powder here. Got two cans of diced tomatoes, and you can use a can of beans, or I actually uh, boiled and drained my own beans that I got out of a bag because I like them that way. They they're, seem to be a lot better and hold together be better. Aside from that, there's a couple of things, but uh, as I get to them, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what those are. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and start browning my hamburger, and then I'll uh, dice up my tomatoes and... Uh, well, not tomatoes, but my uh, onions and my jalapeno, and uh, we'll get started on that. So this is going to take a couple of minutes, and you've all seen me cut an onion before, so I'll spare you that, and I'll be right back when I get those done. Okay, we're back. I got my onions cut up. I have my uh, jalapeno cut up. The jalapeno uh, seems a little bit strong to me. Now, it all depends on how spicy you like it. I don't really care to have mine that spicy. I got my uh, hamburger all browned up, but what I've not done yet is I haven't seasoned it, which you could do earlier in the game. You want to give it plenty of salt and pepper, give it a little bit of flavor. Uh, this chili is, as I said, really easy to make. And uh, once this is done, which it is, We'll just go ahead and start putting everything in into the crock pot. Now, let me take a look and see if I'm in frame on the crock pot here. Yeah, I am. Uh, my friend calls this a Ted Nugent crock pot because it's got the funky zebra stripes. I didn't buy it because of the zebra stripes. I bought it because it was actually the only crock pot available the day that I needed one. So that's what I got. Uh, like to have a bigger one, a better brand, and uh, but it does the job. It's very uh, small at three quarts, but gets things done. Whoops, got a runaway there. All right, so uh, two on two small onions might be a little optimistic here. You could probably get by with one big one or a little bit less than that, but we're going to be looking at a pretty close to a full load with this. And now my beans, as I showed you before, I have uh, drained those and everything. But before I do that, the beans aren't very durable. So what I want to do first is go ahead and open my tomatoes and get those in there. And you don't want to save all of the juice from your tomatoes too because this you know, uh, doesn't get a whole lot of liquid outside of that but uh, I'm using two cans of diced tomatoes and it really doesn't matter whether they're petite or just full-size diced tomatoes or you could dice your own or whatever but this is this is essentially how I do it and it's it I love the way it comes out it comes out really good and I'm gonna do something really really strange here I discovered this when I didn't have tomato paste one time. I just decided I'd use some ketchup. And I just give it a nice squirt, probably about a quarter of a cup or so, of ketchup. And you'd be surprised, it really tastes pretty good. Now at this point, I'm going to start putting a whole lot of chili powder. I'm going to go ahead and put some on my meat as well. That'll help that blend in. And I'm going to dump a bunch in here. And I use a lot of chili powder, so uh, you can get a taste of it. Now, you can cook your onions beforehand, or you can cook them 
as I, as I did, I just put them right here in the crock pot and I'm going to let them cook right in the crock pot because uh, I'm not going to be messing with this during the whole time and I really like my onions to have a little bit of uh, texture to them. By the time it's done, if you, if you cook them with the meat, uh, you really can't find any onions in there. So we got our ketchup in there, we have our uh, tomatoes in there, we got our onions in there, now we got our beef in there, and our seasonings. So I'm going to give this a little bit of a stir here. Now you can see that's a little bit dry, so there's two ways you can go about that. You can add water or you can add half a beer. Uh, I won't tell you what to do with the other half of the beer if you do that. You probably got that one figured out on your own. And that's pretty much just about it. Now at this point, we just want to turn our crock pot on high. And if you've got a good crock pot that you can use on low, that's good. But I've noticed that this one here doesn't really seem to cook that well on low. Beans, that's what I'm forgetting. There's our beans. Now that I've stirred up everything else, I'm going to go ahead and just fold in the beans nice and easily. And I knew that pot looked like it should be right to the top. So I just fold in my beans and try not to break them up. That's why I don't use them out of a can because they're just way too fragile when they come out of a can. So anyway, you just want to take a quick taste of that and make sure that it Seems like you have enough chili powder. Perfect. All right, we'll see you in the morning. All right, so here's our chili all done, ready to dish out pretty much. And uh, I've taken a taste. I did have to, have to add a little bit of salt because I didn't add enough salt last night. But once I did that, well, it rounded out perfectly. So let me see if I can get this bowl close enough to not spill a whole lot. And we'll put a little bit in there. Now if you want it thicker than what I've done, you can use you can certainly use tomato paste instead of ketchup. Ketchup is my own little twist. I don't think anyone else does that. Uh, tomato paste to me, it does make it kind of thick. On a cold morning, not morning, on a cold day, this is a morning. This is about the only time I ever eat chili in the morning demonstrating it like that. But on a cold day, I love some chili and I don't really like mine too thick. I also don't like it too hot. That's why uh, the amount of pepper that I put in there was just about right. You can, uh, you know, you can adjust for yourself. But there's nothing personally that I hate worse than getting, you know, making a big pot of chili, getting all that time and money invested, and then it's something you can't even eat. Uh, this is something I can, so I'm going to put a little cheese on this, grate a little uh, cheddar, sharp cheddar on there, and I don't think I have any more uh, sour cream, but that would go good on it too. Or I might just let it cool off and eat it just like it is. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you try this. If you do, let me know how it turned out. If you have some opinions about the way I made it and how I made it, this, that, and the other, please leave your comments in the section down below. Love to hear from you. And uh, Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and we'll catch you in another video. Bye.